Hey, it's Nate from Catfish, and I'm here with MTV News journalist and true life crime host Doma T. Pungo, and we're about to show you an unaired clip from True Life Crime involving the case of Malaysia Booker. There are a number of murders that occurred involving trans women here in Dallas, including one that happened not long after Malaysia was killed. There was a body that was found, and that body was Chanel Lindsay. The Dallas Police Department uh, has reached out to the FBI because, as we know, this is the second uh, individual who is transgender who is deceased. We are concerned. We are actively and aggressively investigating this case. I'm about to talk to the cousin of Chanel Lindsay. I want to understand the circumstances of that murder and if there was any connection to Malaysia's. What does Chanel want to be? This is going to blow you away. A mechanic. A mechanic. Damn, had a love for cars, always loved cars. Yeah. When did you find out Chanel had passed away? So I got a call from my aunt, and the detectives called her. She said they found Chanel in White Rock Lake. And I just said, well, what happened? And all they could tell me is homicidal violence, is, is all they would tell me. So I don't know the, the reasoning. For, for what happened. Every day I wonder. So when the detectives were telling me that, and I kept asking questions, and she couldn't really disclose a lot, she just was like, it's still under investigation, and it's a lot that we can't disclose. What did you learn about the manner of death? What had happened? They won't disclose it. Had you heard about any other trans murders at this time, and did you yes. think they were connected? And that's what made me nervous, but just watching the news and stuff, I kind of thought it was like a serial thing. Serial killer. Because they get attacked all the time, especially here in Texas. They're not accepted. So why do you think black trans women face this kind of violence so often? We have people who become involved in romantic relationships, don't want folks to find out because those relationships are stigmatized. And rather than coming to terms with who they are, they turn to violence. What were some of the things that made you think Chanel's murder might have been connected to Malaysia's? The reporter was telling me that, uh, that it had been a stream of um, transgendered people getting killed. She was like, you do know within the last couple of months, she makes the fourth one. In Malaysia's case, they charged someone named Kendra Lyles. Had you ever heard of that name before? And did you think that Kendrell might have been involved in Chanel's murder at all? I don't know. Who was eventually arrested and charged of Chanel's murder? A guy named Ruben Alvarado. All I know is they have phone records. He drove almost an hour. They talked on the phone for less than two minutes. Within an hour, my cousin was in his car. What conclusion did the community come to about what was going on here? What's even more chilling about this is the idea that, no, it wasn't a serial killer. These are two unrelated murders, which means that this violence against trans women is even more widespread than the community may have thought at first. This is so sad. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, none of this. No. But people don't pay attention until it happens to them, which is it's unfortunate. <laughs>